Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to the 58th Pi Game tutorial video. In this video, what we're going to be working on is adjusting our. We want to have our, you know, our tank gun, and we want to be able to adjust the gun to fire at several different levels. So at the moment, we've just got this simple tank, and it's got, you know, this, the gun of the tank or the barrel, I suppose, of the tank. Some some tank uh, aficionado is going to correct me, I'm sure, but. You know, we've got the tank gun, and currently we've got a, a, a good angle here. Um, but we want to be able to let the user set the angle of the gun. Since on a tank, you can you know set the angle of it. So that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. Um, there's a couple of ways that we could go about this. The most uh, complex way would be to take your tank gun and make a sprite of the actual tank gun itself. And then you could use the rotate functionality to slowly rotate that image. Um, the problem is that image is going to rotate and not hold the same, like the gun won't be always attached to like this point and rotate around that point. So you'd have to build some functionality around that. But you could even have it rotate as little as one degree at a time. So you could really make it complex. Now, as you'll probably see later on down the road, going this way, when you make it that complex, you make everything after it as complex as that is. So later on down the road, you'll see why that why that matters. But for now, what I'm going to say is that we're going to have our tank gun, and we're going to have like nine positions basically. So you've got uh, you know straight forward, and then up up a little bit each time, and then a tank gun for the most part, like the actual cannon of the tank cannot shoot like straight up you know it can only go up you know even this is probably higher than a real tank can go but anyway <laughs> so that's that's uh, what we've got in store for this video so the idea that I have for this is we're just gonna draw the lines now the other problem with drawing lines is this line there's no parameter for like length of line right there is no length of the line you could calculate this on your own you could like build a function to make sure the gun is the same length every time. Um, you can do stuff like that, but uh, we're not going to be worrying too much with that. So what I propose is basically what we'll have is we've got this tank function and then later on we'll pass through because the tank function is ran every frame per second. So what we'll do is we'll pass through a, a turret position uh, parameter in the tank function. But for now let's just let's just go ahead and visualize where we think the turrets might be. So I'm going to create a uh, variable, and it's going to be possible uh, turrets. And this is just going to be a list of tuples. Um, whoops. And uh, basically, it's going to be the tank position, and then we're going to like subtract. Basically, the same thing we've done here, right? X minus 10, Y minus 20. Um, these are these are the tank position, um, and then the points of the line. So um, X minus 10, Y minus 20 is totally fine. But let's go ahead and start with like the smallest ones. So for example, we would say uh, X minus probably like 25 and Y, uh, let's just do minus two. And let's go ahead and just run that real quick and see where our turret is. Right, so that's pretty darn good. We might want to stick the gun out like a little more. So, um, do like x like minus 27 something like that so that's our starting turret so that's as far down as it can go right we're not going to let the gun like go inside the tank or anything so that's good so we'll go ahead and close that and that'll be our first possible turret choice so we'll just go ahead and paste that in there and then from here we'll just keep modifying this and the x like as the turret goes up you can imagine that the x needs to decline slightly but the Y needs to probably change more, but you'll see what I mean in a, in a minute. But like as this gun aims upward, if X was the same position, I mean, the gun would get really long as we moved up. So um, so we'll do X minus 27, Y minus two, then we'll do, um, let's just fill, uh, pre populate a few here. Come on. Empty, comma, comma, empty, comma. Okay, so then we'll do, um, we'll make this x minus 26, and then y minus 5. Then we'll come down here, we'll make this x minus 25, and then y minus 8. 
Um, that's good. Let's go ahead and see where we are at that point. So let's copy that, paste that one in. Play the game. Okay, so we're moving up slowly but surely. So then we'll have x minus, and then we'll do a 23 since we're starting to get some angle here. Y minus 12, and then X minus uh, 20, Y minus uh, 14. And we so far, let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five. Let's add, let's just copy this, and let's paste one, two, three, uh, four. So then we'll have, uh, so let's just run through the X's real quick. So uh, we'll do 20, 18, uh, 15, 13, and then we'll make this one 11. And then you've got 12, 14, we'll do 15, uh, 17, 19, and 21. So these are like all of our possible turret locations. You don't have to get rid of this comma right here, but I'd like to, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, and then what we'll do just to visualize all of them finally before we move on is you've got this draw line reference. What we can say instead is we could say um, like this, replace this with uh, possible turrets like so. And then in, in possible turrets, we, will, we can just take this and we could put in uh, like zero. Okay. So and then turret width. So then let's go ahead and save it on that. Play. And then you can see like at the zeroth position is all the way down. So that's like the minimum uh, height. So then we can just copy this. Uh, let me scroll it over a little bit. So we'll copy this and let's just paste, paste. Oh, I was hoping that would do that. Hold on. So we have nine total. So we've got three so far, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then we can just write in 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And just for the record, obviously, we start at 0, so we do have 9 here. So let's go ahead and save and run that and see where we are. We'll hit play. And basically, you can see the possible arc of guns. Not too bad. Uh, it's good as it'll get for now. Um, I don't see any reason why we need to have even like more uh, angles in there. So that's good. Um, so now that we've got that, we want to actually be able to let the user control the turret. So that's what we're going to be doing uh, in the next video. So stay tuned for that. As always, thanks for watching.